two o'clock on Tuesday, and we're live. That didn't really have a good flow, but I'll work on it. I'll work on it. I'll work on it. So, y'all, it is Tuesday. It is two o'clock ish, and what's up, Dan? Um, Jeff is over there prepping a board. Let me see if I can show y'all. It's a weird angle. We had, we had space. We had a little bit of space. See, that was so long ago, I feel like. What, four months ago? Yeah, it was probably four months ago. So all the space and then now all the space is not there. Yep. We have lost it. Where is he? I know he's over there somewhere. There he is. What's up, everybody? What's up? So, Jeff is um, painting a 20 inch, no, 18 inch round. y'all I think he's actually gonna start spray painting in a minute what's up you guys Lucy you had surgery I hope all is well what's up Laura D Margaret I love it when so many of the fam shows up early thank you Patty um so Laura had a vigil on Sunday and well, we, her family and friends put on a vigil for her and we're still trying to get her transferred to a hospital here in Dallas. And so we've been just blasting the internet with um, her story and tagging news outlets and hospitals. The issue is she doesn't have insurance, and that is a very real and scary thing for a lot of people, including Jeff and I. We're going to get insurance at some point. Um, I can't, I'm trying to show y'all what he's doing, but I keep forgetting I'm holding the camera. So, uh, I have linked her story in the description box if you guys are so inclined to read it. I wanna keep the mood in our group happy and upbeat and Laura would have wanted things to stay positive. So that's what we're gonna do. So on the 15th, we're going to do a, a piece in her honor. We're gonna do it in her favorite colors and any of the donations that come through on the 15th during our live feed and the proceeds from the painting are all gonna to go towards the cause. Cause they also had to hire lawyers because the um, hospital is not releasing her records, so that's awesome. I will, Happy Owl. It's just difficult. I don't know anything about insurance or what kind I should have. When last time I checked on insurance, um, it was like $560 a month with like a thousand dollars deductible I don't know it was ridiculous and I yet not broken a bone or like I don't smoke and we moderately drink but generally are healthy but I was like that's ridiculous I don't have that kind of money Thank you, Diane. You y'all could always join the military. Unfortunately, that time has come and passed for us because you have to be like, I think the max is 30 to graduate. You have to have a degree in order to enlist as with a master, well, as an officer. 
I don't know. I have no idea if their family has filed a petition or something like that. I'm not in sync with the feed. Is everything okay on the feed? Everything look okay? Anyways. Um, moving on to positive things. Jeff is prepping a canvas, and I think he's going to give a go at um, something similar to this piece that I did a while back. He's going to do his take on this one. I don't even know how. I don't even know what. I think what you decided that I should have done was tape the sides. But I don't know. So her story is in her GoFundMe. Um, Diane, I haven't checked emails today because we've been running around like crazy trying to get stuff stocked up and ready for everything that we have coming up. But as soon as I get off the feed, that's what I'll be doing the rest of the day. I saw your, Al Alan, I saw your order come in. I just haven't. Um, gotten a chance to send many out today. Why does it keep trying to focus? you Diane um, when we get off of this before I do the orders I will call you I don't know about the announcement for the winners Judy is doing that we'll do our best to inspire you Diane we're trying to figure out if we want to do a Black Friday or a Cyber Monday sale isn't that coming up are we gonna have stuff in stock <laughs> Well, I've got orders out with two of our vendors, so, well, three, if you count Stonecoat. Oh, I got approval from Stonecoat for the purple and teal. They, they are go. It'll be next week before they get stocked up enough to officially release them, and then I'll have those two days after that. We will be doing either a Monday or a Friday sale. Pardon? I think he was just going to send us... Um, send us some. We need to tell them that we're going to actually get some. I think. The sound and the words aren't coming out at the same time. It's like the fourth person that's mentioned that. Today? On this feed. So. Oh my God. Were... <laughs> what? What's the problem? What's up, y'all? Um, um, Angelique, I haven't tried AliExpress. I, I don't know anything about their products. Um, we haven't tried any, so I can't tell you firsthand. The classes. What is the... Are we going to do a December class? I 
guess. I don't know. We could do one mid-December. The second is my birthday, so I'll still be working. Okay, so uh, Paula says it's really hot in Johannesburg. No, yes. She said South Africa. Hey Brenda, I'm still working on your questions. Vion, I don't, well, how should we, so um, Stone Code said they were gonna give us a half gallon to give away. How should we do that? I have no idea. I forgot about that. So, do you want to ask a question and everybody that got it right? No, that'll. No, that's... I'm not sure how we should do that. Thank you, Anita. South Africa. Julie, I really don't mind not having days off. This is, it's something we love to do. So it's not like we're sitting around like, <sighs> have to do a video. It's more like, okay, what are we gonna do today? That's the only stress we have is trying to narrow down all of our ideas into one cohesive video. They're placing an order for 200 coasters. Congrats, Gail. Man. Just don't right, try JJ? to do them all at one time. That's not a good idea. What's up, Tamro? So, let's put our hair up and get down to business, as it were. Hmm. What? I don't know how we should do that stone coat giveaway. I have no idea. At a loss. Gail, you did all the hard work. But even still, do you feel obligated a lot? Um. She does. To, to do it, to be on time. My, that's my obligation. Like, that's where I get stressed out is whether we're going to be live on time or not. Just give it to me. Problem solved. Um, Zori, we use flat to base our paintings out like this. And then um, we found out from Stone Coat the best to put in your resin if you're going to do the alcohol spritz thing is a gloss. It reacts better. Who knew? I didn't know. This is a powder. Hi, Erin. Can you see who does the thumbs up on your end? Um, let me see. I don't know. I don't think so. Cards, thumbnail, watching. I can't even see how many thumbs are up in my feed, actually. Do your own You Got This Award from past posts. Um, Sherry, we got a, a half gallon from Stone Coat to give away to y'all for our 20000 And so I'm trying to figure out how to give that away like what kind of competition or drawing should we do um sandy we're actually working on our very own you got this award but i think we're going to call it the that's bananas award that? thank you julie I don't know why that is so crazy i love ramona i completely understand 
Yes, a gloss spray paint. Look at these. That looks like oh, something. That looks like something. This is great. Babe. Great. I'm a needy artist. Give it to me. Um, Andrew, the Oregon trip was bananas, and I'm selfishly probably about to start planning another one. You know how, like, yes, because I know that they're, like, really strapped on time, and they have a lot going on, and a lot of visitors, and a lot of trips they have to do, Dude, so. All we have so. to do is just paint and just stand on their hair. That's that. I did not try any of the local wine. Got you, Margaret. Um, purple on our website. Ooh, do you do we have? That's a really similar to Midnight. Midnight Violet's close to that, wouldn't you say? A little darker. I would say Midnight Violet's close to that color, Margaret. Um, next time, Andrew, I will. Where did you get the skull mold? Amazon? No, we were oh, gifted somebody those. Somebody gave me that. Somebody sent us that. Come to Florida, everyone loves Florida. We love Florida too, but the thing about it is, you know how companies send their employees sometimes on like a retreat or like some kind of motivational meeting? That's kind of what it was for me is seeing how organized and their processes are and getting information from their company was just invaluable to me. And the more questions that I had answered, the more questions I had, and so I'm gonna need another week to month up there to get all of my questions answered with wiggle room for new questions that I will have. Right, Midnight Violet is gorgeous. Robin, I believe we did, I just have to find it. We got Sherry's gift as well. And all happy the little owl. mood paintings. We got Happy Owl's gift. Jeff loves that necklace. I'm surprised he's not wearing it right now. You need to wear it with like a black V-neck. Or a white one. I can't. This will stop her out of there. My hands are like... Oh, I got it. Okay. Uh, Gail, they probably are on Amazon. Almost everything that I order in terms of molds is on Amazon. And when I order something, I usually link it down in our Amazon link down below. Doink, doink, doink. Feel free to do all of your Amazon shopping through our link. It doesn't cost you guys anything extra, and it gives us a little kickback every time. Um, I'm loving that round colors. Um, this one... I'm sure this is flat black. I'm sure this yeah. is flat white. This satin one. Satin ink. That's ink. Ink blue. It's like. It's a satin? There. Yeah. It's, it's what it's uh, there. It, okay. Should I let my pigments sit till I eventually can get a better resin and Biotex? I don't want to waste my expensive pigments. Um, if you can. You can wait. I would patients. still use your maybe more budget-friendly pigments with your Envirotex. I wouldn't want you to not use the Envirotex because you don't want that money you spent going to waste. And you don't want to not art. So if you have anything that's a little bit less expensive, like a craft paint, we just still need to do... Just make it dark. Just make it dark so if it... If it does yellow, if it does, mm, make sure it's heated like this isn't. Yeah, we would love to come to Canada. We just got to plan something. Paula, we 
put these in our mystery boxes. We make them into keychains. Um, I think Jeff is about to do a clock, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna make a clock with, with our hexagon. Actually, it's more than a hexagon. I forget what it was. It was like it's an octagonal pentahexalemagon. Very technical. Oh, there's twelve points to it. I heard you can use a cheaper or lower quality resin and just flood coat with stone coat for UV protection. That is true, um, Kelly, because the UV blockers that are in stone coat are basically like a sunblock for your painting. Yeah. So if you use stone coat for a top coat, a, a good top coat, not just like a skin top coat, that will protect your first layer from yellowing. What is a resin shelf life? Someone gave me some resin that she had just sitting around for a while and never opened it, just curious. Lauren, I hear that it's about a year. That's what I hear. Depending on if it's cold and freezes or cold and freezes like they. Oh yeah, they resin can only get frozen three times i think you said three times and then after that it's never going to set up as hard as it should i think i worded that properly That's what basically said. vamp yeah envirotex isn't a bad resin it's just you have to be careful if you use a white in it that it's gonna yellow. Unfortunately, we have a few paintings out in the world right now that I hope are out of any kind of sunlight, maybe in a closet or bathroom without windows. We did, we used to use it all the time because we could buy it from Michael's with a discount coupon. Mm -hmm. Someone math for me. Okay, so hear me out. If you can buy whatever their 32 ounces with their 40% off that they usually have, which is more cost effective if you buy a half gallon with our $30 off? Well, it's just way better resin anyways. I know, but if you're on a budget, I would like to know the price difference in budgetary terms. Ooh, budgetary. Did you mm -hmm. like that one? Yeah. Lauren, um, put the part A and part B, just mix a little bit together and see how much of the yellow um, fades out. Because a lot of times, one part will start to amber a bit, but when you mix the part A into it, it'll dissipate and it'll, it'll go clear just try a little sample and see what that does you need four more skulls for a clock i think i have some somewhere oh, what's I, up i already now? have a i already have it set up <laughs> on a different piece over there no competition because working time with stone coat is worth the price that alone is very good point That is a good price. It just makes more sense if you're doing it for a hobby is what I'm saying. Well, you're right, Tammy. It's ultimately use what you want to use. All we ever tell you guys about is what works best for us and what our preferences are. We'll tell you our honest opinion for anything unbiased 100%. And I was just wondering for someone on a budget what the difference would be. Um, I'm not sure what the price of half gallon is right now. It needs to be a little bit more opaque. This is very, it's kind of blue. Okay. 
Deborah, that sounds amazing. Yeah, Holly, I have some promarine that's quite amber at this point, just in the bottle. Jody, we're working on it. Jeff's mixing his colors, and then we're going to get our pour on. Sorry about the babble. So, let me go ahead. Did somebody say, hey, shut up and start pouring? No. But before that happens, I wanted to say we're going to get on it in just a second. Price times 0.60. Mm -mm. Still mathing. I, I'll look it up. So, Kat, I was just asking what Jess colors will be so I can put them down in the description box as we go. Because y'all all know that if this posts without me adding it, I will completely forget. So you're using Stone Coat Black. Just Resin Bronze Powder. That powder I will have on our website within the week. Um, Laura Taylor, we ate earlier. What's up, Missy? Oh yeah, we do. We do. Um, we fill out surveys all the time. That's awesome, Sherry. Good tip. So, what else will yield? Sky blue. Did you already get sky blue? No. Who is that by Color Obsession? Yeah, it's a nice dark color. Okay. And then Bonaire blue. That's what this is. This is a nice color right here. I love that color. It's very glowy. And then you use China. Yeah, China blue. That, that's uh, it's a nice color. It's kind of transparent. A little bit. Good luck on your exam, Beyond. Are y'all doing ocean? No, not really. But because I'm gonna put some of this. Uh, Fifty-five dollars for a half gallon. Bronze. Not yet, Missy. I will check that today. Some black. Um, I want to show them the china. Oh, uh, where? I need some hands. Another color? Huh? I don't know. I'm just trying to make a fade. I don't know if y'all can see this blue. This is a new color we just added today, just now. I only have nine 10 grams and four of the 50 grams, but be warned, there are dents in some of my 50 gram jars right now because USPS decided they were going to empty all of the boxes in my last shipment and not package them correctly. They just dumped them in these bags and shipped them. So every one of the 83 50 gram jars that I got in in one of the boxes was mangled. Um, actually, Just Resin's Brawn Powder is the only Just Resin in this particular pour. All the blues are from Color Obsession and the Black is Stone Coat. I will be on. I will tell you if something happens. I try to do something here. It's one of our favorite colors, too. What's up, Don? I'm, I'm just experimenting, guys, so. That's per ounce, bear, Tammy? Bear with me here. Oh yeah, customs is 
quite the pain. What's up, Chris? Welcome to the channel. We paint here every day. Unless we're on a trip. Then sometimes we just post and say sorry that we didn't paint today. Um, Sweet Pea, next time you talk about chili like that in this page, you better send some. You better. Thank you, Missy. The light blue is Bonaire by Color Obsession. Ooh, what a great question. Julie asks, I have a question. With so many YouTube channels out there displaying their art similar to what y'all are doing, how do you decide to be different than the rest? The thing that differentiates us is, as far as I know, nobody goes live every day of the week, firstly. There aren't that many that post every day, and I think that's something that's key to our channel to help us build growth, is that we're that dedicated to our channel. Secondly, I don't know that many channels that are so open to doing other product reviews. Some people get like comfortable in what they like to use and then that's it. We always want to try new products and new colors and we've kind of gone away with that now that I'm saying it out loud. I have some new resins and some new um, brands of paint to test out. So that's something you guys can look forward to for sure. Mississippi's not that far. Oh, and we have our personality. I guess that's different. <laughs> Take it or leave it. We are definitely who we are. And there have been some people that have left it, which is fine. We're not everybody's taste. Thank you, Tammy. Definitely a different. Um, thank you guys for all of the, um, the awesome. There is no silver in this. And Lisa asks, I, are you talking about this area? Cause this is clear resin so you can just see where he has spray paint on the bottom so lisa asked why we don't use la res anymore um we had some professional differences and so we just kind of moved away from it just to not create waves. However, um, Lorez Susanna Danks is coming to the state. She's actually coming to like right outside of Galveston in July. And we're gonna make a trip down there to visit her and support her in the um, a resin event that she's gonna be in. Uh, we still like the products. We still love Susanna and um, I have some of her, I don't, I think the colors that we have from her are now out of date, so I'll have to get some, I'll have to purchase some of the newer colors that she has. I know that she has a lot coming out recently. We'll have to get a hold of. It was a great question. The last color he added. Uh, that is the bronze by Just Resin. Thank you, Missy. We definitely do show the fails as well as the nails in this channel. If it doesn't work out... This is one of them. <laughs> to be clear, La Res is an amazing brand. And... I don't, I can't come up with enough great things to say about Susanna and her products. And 
I do actually have some that I've been meaning to pull out for a little while. It just, we come up with it. it what ends up on our channel is basically the idea that we have closest to when we start filming. Like we have a whiteboard full of ideas that have been on there and products that have been on there to test forever. But what ends up on the channel is what we think about closest to filming time, unfortunately. It's looking like a planet. I'm, now I'm just like throwing stuff on. Doing my, my crazy thing there now. You have to do what inspired you. That's true, and we definitely pull inspiration from a lot of different places, and I don't know if y'all have ever had this where you get so inspired by so many different things that what you try to do ends up being a combination of too many ideas, and it never turns out right because too much is going on in your head. That happens to us a lot. What's up, Kathy? Bye, Sherry. Have a great day at work. I love Jeff's art fits. A lot of people do just because I, I, I do get a little bit crazy. But that's not good for me. No. I fight with just figuring out what colors to use. I'm just about ready to have one. Sometimes we have troubles figuring out what colors to use. And by sometimes I mean every like day right or now. every other day. Yeah, it just does not want to... Do anything. I wonder if it's just too damn cold in here. All right. That bronze is sitting up nicely, though. We like it because my fits are usually a lot worse. Y'all, we saw Mike flip a painting. That was fun. Jeff has wanted to do that. But I think because I was standing here has not refrained. Um, it was good though. Good to see other people having like hissy, inner turmoil and come out. Yeah, hissy fits. What silver do you recommend? Our favorite silver right now is, I like an aluminum from Resi Tints by Eli Kim, and I like aluminum from Just Resin. And I like the silver leafing from Color Obsession, but I don't carry that one. I love that, I like crazy. If it was me doing that till it would have been all over my shirt. Let's see, why can't it all look like this? Throw some white in there. Is Jeff gonna pull a mic? I don't think on this one. I might, I'm, I'm thinking about it. It's this light blue that's messing with me. It just does not want to do what what you think it's going to do. My my hissy fit is throwing things across the room. Yeah, um, that would be no bueno. We have merch and products everywhere. Maggie, we're just glad you tuned in. I think hissy fits are natural in an artist. We just can't help it. You know, 
I think I agree with that for sure. Is that light blue a paste? It is. It's a paste from Color Obsession called Bon Air. Spray with alcohol. I like that look. I really like how it turns out when you spray a piece with alcohol in a metallic. The thing I don't like about that is that it's hard to control where that alcohol spritz falls. Like if I could just spray it right here and know it would only be right here, I would use that technique more often. So if I could find a way to like shield most of a painting. Hi, Wendy. My hissy fit is to stare at it, sit down, cry, leave the room, and then leave it in there for several days. So you put the painting in timeout. What did you use to make the silicone effect? I actually recommend not ever using silicone in resin. Um, this is from using the base tints from Stone Coat. If you push your color over one of the base tints, you'll get cells like this. Just be careful not to add too much heat or to use too much of the base tint product because then your uh, cell structure will be weak. Hi, Ginger. Thanks for watching. I'm asking again, the light blue jacket Jeff has on, does it have ATD on the front of it? It does. It's a pullover hoodie. It's a pullover. And it's got it on the back. Can you see that? Yeah. And it's on the hood. No, zone. it's not. Not on the hood. The logo is only on the hood of the zip up. Sprayed in a toilet paper roll. Not a bad idea. Um, we don't have any codes out right now because we have the Black Friday, Cyber Monday sale. That's great idea, Happy Owl. I don't know why I didn't think about that. What up, GP? Silicone and resin equals oil and water, basically. Why is that? Yes, so um, Missy. Maybe you just took it off. Mm -hmm. I'm scared he's gonna get epoxy on the hoodie. Um, you're all clear so far. I'm most worried about the drawstring. Love the top. That's what she said. <laughs> there she goes. We definitely are, Anita. None of those theirs are right beyond. Gotta have some apostrophes. Well played, B, well played. I bought your primary set and just those three made crazy cells in a piece that turned into a keeper. Congrats, Dawn. Missy, we almost always forget to like tuck in any and all jewelry, or put my hair all the way up, or take his bracelets off. Actually, it's, it's not on right now, so that's good. Robin it's says fun. leave it. It's Happy Owl says it looks awesome now. I can dig it. I like it, B. Good jobbing. I think what happens is I put that clear in the middle. And it just it just kind of soaked up that first color and it made it just really wash out. I get that. 
but this looks super interesting where you picked up the colors right here and it's sailed over this clear so it has that extra depth mm -hmm. Maggie, I believe your order already went out. What's up, Tia? Thank you, Petra. So, Julie says she really likes it. Everybody loves it now. Let's take y'all on an adventure. It's so dark. I know. This one. That over, were... over, what do you call it? Give them the overview. They were on the overhead. Okay, okay, okay. Please tell Jeff it looks pretty. I will. Oh, I like it. I love this. At one point, I didn't have any pants without resin. At one point, I don't. I still am pretty sure I don't have any pants without resin on them. I will have that new bronze, the powder bronze in. They're shipping. They said early this week, but today's pretty much the last day for early this week. So I'm hoping today's the day. My pleasure, beyond. It would look cool as a clock. This, I'm sure it would. What are you doing, little new? If I had a dime for every time Jeff says it's too dark, I would literally be a millionaire. Well, I would get half of that. What price are you going to do for rounds that you have done? I don't know. I've done as in like primed or painted. I think nope. they're talking about as a painting. I have no idea. Um, Where is my my skull thing? Your skull thing, your mold? Yeah. I don't know how you keep putting it in here, but here we go. I don't need to. Diamond dust set up. Um this one has some diamond dust in it. Oh. So, so difficult for me to figure out like it's always opposite day on the camera also it won't focus so there's that one painted um i think we add we just add a couple dollars if we have to prep it so that one that i just showed you is the diamond dust sprinkled on top and this one is the diamond dust like mixed into resin. It's really neat because it, it's a little heavy. So it sinks into the piece and leaves like an awesome crater. So um, as soon as I can get over there, I will show you this piece as well. What, what do we do? Do I need awesome, to Awesome, Margaret. wonder what the file, fire sale you mentioned is, like finished pieces. Yeah, Don, when we, um, so since we do resin pieces multiple times every day, uh, we end up with a lot of work that's completed. So we'll usually do a fire sale. We used to do them at the end of every month and just ran out of time. But um, that's where we put all the pieces that we have finished on like a super sale 
to kind of clear up some wall space for our new pieces. And put some money in the bank. And pay rent. Jeff's so busy over there. I know, Tia. Definitely a busy bee. I'm going to get pushed out. Do you know of a glitter that stays completely suspended in resin? You just put the glitter, if you just put, um, if you put glitter in clear and then maybe a tint with the color that you're putting over it, like a, a, a complementary color or the same color, just a little bit, it'll look like it's floating over the top of it when you pour that clear over it. That's what I've noticed. Yeah, but it depends on what size resin you use. I mean, what size glitter you use. Not yet, Darlene, not yet. Um, for the most time, super fine glitter will, but this um, diamond dust by Stone Coat is very fine, but it seems to have sunk in this piece. So with that, it's like kind of flat. We've got to redo this table. <clears throat> I want thick glitter through the whole thing. What's up, Kim? Just do layers. Just be patient and do layers. That's Definitely how you're gonna achieve that effect. Oh, thanks, Missy. Chris, he is um, doing skull molds. So, just gonna show y'all this piece. It shows, um, well, I need to switch cameras again. So, that glittery in there is the diamond dust, but it's already, it's kind of sunk in there a little bit. I wish I could get closer without, um, I'll put a video on YouTube, but it, um, looks great. Well, that's what we could do today. We can, it's, it's sunny outside, so we can like take them up on the roof and get some good videos of these pieces that we need to. Hey Doris. What's up, Paula Wall? Thanks, y'all. Oh, the pieces from yesterday turned out bananas. So this one has the... Um, That's a little texture on it. I think it's just because it got cold in our little dry area. No, you know what that's from? is I brought it out and I was like, it's still sticky and I sat it. I think that's gravity. You sat it where? You picked it up from over there. It was leaning up against the wall. No. All right, but it's smooth up here. Mm. That would be a fun new technique. So this is the one that Jeff did. There's two of them. And it's got this funky texture. I brought it out before it was fully set. Like when I picked it up, like it looked like hot glue strings from where it was sticky down here. And I think that I set it up against the wall like this. I know I did. And I think that created a gravitational new technique maybe. A gravitational. It See, looks, like it's plain. It looks, it looks terrible. Though. A clear coat will fix it. Thank you, Missy. I've never used modeling paste over resin. Oh, I know. Patience is definitely a virtue. It is, however, a virtue that I was not blessed with. I gotta show them the other one. Is it in here? Upside down? Right here. You're not to 
It's set up really well. Let me switch you to overhead. How fun that is. I think Jeff is going to use this part as inspiration for fire moving forward. Yeah, I think he's going to take some of our bigger, better, badder ones outside to get a better video of them. It is sunny outside right now. Every once in a while I do happy. I think it depends on what I have patience about. I have selective patience. Um, Ramona, for them to set up properly and with the right um, everything, ideal temperature is a dry 75, 72, 77 range. Can you show a skull that is done? Sure can. Show them the red one and the gold one. This one? Yeah, black and red. Nope. There's a red one, a black and red one. And then he wants me to show you the gold one. That looks weird. Thank you. Gravity ripple. That is a great term. Hola, Wilma. So I think Jeff is going to make something. I'm not sure what. I'm never sure. He's spray painting. Hi, Terry. We went live an hour and three minutes ago, and we try to do that, as you know, because you've been on the channel for a couple of minutes. Tuesdays at 2, our time. Right, Aaron, isn't Tia? Bananas, what's up, Clara? How is your day going? Ours is regular. It's going to be extra because I have to read all the emails and send out all the orders. Do you prep your tiles? I think that's what he's doing over there. A lot of times we'll spray paint them. What's the measurement of those skulls roughly? Um, an inch and a half? Is that what this feels like, an inch and a half? I don't know. I don't know what size this is. My pleasure, Rusty. Shelly, we had a blasted stone coat. Hopefully, we'll go back sooner than later. We have a lot of stuff going on. What, you wanna come up here and say hi to the peoples? You come up here and say hi to the peoples? No, you don't. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Y'all, I need to show you the dance Kujo does whenever I wanna pick him up to say hi to y'all. Hold on. Like, he is on my leg. Come here. Oh, now he's going to do it. Now he's ready. Never mind. Clara, I would love to see the dragons you're painting. I don't know if that's enough. Sure. 
How did the shop were poor? Um, set up. It's perfect. It's flawless. I have still like the overflow on it. I'm trying to decide if I want to keep it there or not because it overflowed pretty evenly all the way around the piece. We do use normal. <sighs> okay, okay. We do use normal house tiles for our coasters. You can get them at Home Depot or any other hardware store. Thank you, Clara. Thank you all. Thank you, Clara. Oh, they did fix it, Missy? Good. Anita, send me an email so I can replace those. Um, we are selling the sweatshirts. They are currently live on the website. I will let you know that the hoodies are thicker and protect from the cold more the than hoodies? the zip up, the pullovers. <laughs> more so than the, the zip up ones. Oh, big boy yawns. I know it. I guess I could let you guys see what he's doing. So those look Valentine'sy. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Something. Bronze? In with the tent, just to see. Yeah. What it looks like. And some We poured over tiles that we poured over before. I haven't had a problem with that. Hi Debbie, I'm glad we got to meet you. It was amazing and see some of your amazing art. That does not work. I'm so sorry for your loss. Um, what color is Jeff doing? That was probably strawberry tint, and he put some of the... Yeah, strawberry tint. Nailed it. And he put some of the gold dust from Stone Coat in it. I painted these light pink. Just to kind of see what, I don't know, how it looks, I guess. We use alcohol wipes. That'll work. Chris. What was the mermaid look glitter you used in one of your paintings? Mary, if you could send me an email with like a screen grab or a picture of that piece, I would be happy to tell you, but I... Um, you use a lot of different kinds of glitter, so I can't remember. You might want to move the skull. Good call. Good looking out. How did Jeff mix ruby slippers again? That was Cherry by Color Obsession and Gold Dust by Stone Coat. We're going to show you guys what that looks like coming up in a soon video. Thank you, Rusty. In a soon video. A soon video. In a, in a minute video. It should work, Shelly. That reminds me of those chocolate-covered strawberries that have, like, that gross alcohol taste in them. But prettier. We missed you too, Rusty. What baby knows? What baby knows? We will be getting more just resin soon. It's, um, I have 
a... It's almost orange. It's almost like a peach. Yeah. I have a an order that's outstanding with them right now. And I just put in another order that was quite substantial. Hurt my heart to let that dollar go, but... Do it for the business. I should have another box in by Monday at the latest, and then... That's so funny how that gold changes. It literally changes the color of this resin. Like, and that's just gonna sit up there on top of there, isn't it? It's gonna be crazy. Yeah, that bronze is gonna float. I need to put a clear coat over that when it's dry. Have a great day, Don. Thanks for stopping in. You gonna do the thing? I'm gonna try the thing. Are you gonna spray paint first or just gonna? He's gonna do the alcohol spritz, y'all. Should I do the spray paint first? Now, if you can get just resin to make that red Jeff came up with, it would be awesome. The Ruby Slippers red. Or this one that he's using right now. They didn't do anything. We gave do it one with and one nice without. little sheen. I, it looks purple like when you over, 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 oh, other, over, yeah. Why is it so dark? Oh. Uh. Hmm. It just kind of covered it up. It didn't do anything to it. That's crazy. Um, we can talk to them about doing a color that's those colors. Uh, Moo probably missed us a little bit, but he was with all of his little Look at that. fluffy butts all week. How fun is that? Super fun. I can't even see it. Well, if you lift it and tilt it a little bit, then they can see the color variations. I if I tilt it, I think it'll come off. All of the alcohol. Yeah, they do... Um, paint first then alcohol but I think Jeff just wanted to do just this rather than cover the piece and then alcohol dude this looks so rad yes it was what 91% alcohol with yeah. a lot of metallic in it That's fun. It looks like a real chameleon piece. That's some crazy webbing, like. JJ, you got your tickets to the artisan um, there it is. event. That's awesome. Y'all, if you're bored on April 3rd weekend, Jeff and I and a whole bunch of other YouTube artists are going to be speaking at the Artisanal Summit in Vegas. We would love to meet y'all if you um, want to come out and say hi. It totally changed colors like this. Thank you, Rustica. It's like a, it's like a orange gold. 
agreed to you. Can you shine the light on the red with gold in it? Yes. All right, hold on. It should, like this camera, I don't know why it's so dark. Why, it looks like it's. Because we have it set up for PM. So much glitter. It's that, like that. They, mm -hmm. You can see that pink webbing. That's from the alcohol and the. Oh my god, that's gonna look so good when it's dry. Hi, Roll Tide. Welcome to the feed. That'd be awesome, Diane. So, is that your favorite one? That one looks really cool where it like. Mm -hmm. Held on to the. That I love bronze. that one. Super awesome, dude. Good jobbing. It's fun. Super fun. I don't get it. That is a happy accident, happy owl. So, it does. It glistens really well. That's the gold dust from Stone Coat. I have, like... Y'all, you only need a little bit, but if you want it to really make a difference, put a little extra in there. It's not going to change the chemistry of your too much. Man, it's beautiful. So, I have, like, maybe seven of those gold dust left on my site. But if you order anything from the Stone Coat site, whether it's resin or the base tents or whatever, don't forget to use our code ATD, all caps, to get $30 off of your $80 order. What's happening? Just giving it a layer of Clear with sparkle on it mm. because you can. Yep. <laughs> Holly says, "Amazing, y'all. I feel like my ATD withdrawals have been abated a bit. Well, glad we can be part of that. Sorry we caused any DTs out there. ATD fan forever. It's lit. <laughs> it's lit. <laughs> yeah." But it's about that time anyways. Thanks to everybody that like stayed and hung out with us for the long haul. I will figure out how we're gonna give away that half gallon of stone coat. Maybe I'll just remind stone coat and let them give it away on their feed tonight. I don't know, but we'll be there. Jeff's clock is almost done, right? You have almost all the numbers. I have all the numbers in, on the on the actual board. I have all the skulls. Oh yeah. I've already done that. I made. I always make at least six whenever I do this, so I have quite a few. Um, Carrie, we do get a very small percentage, and it makes us look good and makes them want to bring us out and have us part of their events. The most important thing is that it lets them know that people are watching us and are going to them because we told y'all to we recommended their products and so they like to see where people end we, up we believe in their from. product he'll probably glue them down oh thanks for tuning in patty diane that's a good idea I'll just take everybody's name from one of our videos and put them in a hat. Like, 
tune in for this video if you want to be entered and then I could see who all watched. So yeah. Um, uh, thank you, Carrie. I appreciate that. I know there's a lot of people that have stone coat um, codes at this point. We just want to be a standout, I guess. Anyways, I got to go take Moo out because he's pacing at this point. Read all these things. Tune in to see what we do every day. We're going to post videos of these completed pieces. Watch out. On our Facebook group, ATD's Poor People. Find that info in and around in here somewhere. Over there. It's over there? All that. It's in, over here. Um, if you want to see what we do live and real time every day, tune into our Snapchat. Doink, doink, doink. You have to look at it when you talk to him. But then I don't know where I'm doinking. Yeah. Just that. You're doing it. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Okay, come here. Come here. I'm going to take this little guy out. Thanks for showing up and watching what we're doing, y'all. We'll see y'all tomorrow at 8 p.m. Central United States, Dallas, Milky Way time. And shoot me an email if you need anything. Artist Still Death. Nope. Thornton at Artist Still Death .com, Two T's, two L's. All that information is over here in the ticker. And also, tonight on Stone Coats channel, they're going to be working on finishing up the river table that we started while we, we were We started there. a river table down there. It's pretty amazing looking. We've got some redwood and some blue metallic, and it looks awesome. So we'll be in there tonight seeing how they finish it up. StoneCoatCountertops.com. Yeah. That's their YouTube and their website. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, hit the share button. Uh, that's the best way that we can grow is for you guys to tell people to watch our videos. Anyways, I'm babbling. I will see y'all manana. Bye. I said bye. Bye.